instinct, the forced learning of the Afrikaans language. To Thomas Kosa, it was personal history. In fact, without him, the rest of the world might not have known about the shooting of a young boy named Hector Peterson. 36 years ago, Kosa was told by his bosses at the World Newspaper to rush to Soweto. There was Senzima, the photographer, shooting pictures. And I looked at what, why, what, what he was shooting. And I saw Muiswa carrying Hector Peterson, and he was put in a press car and went to the hospital where he died. Sam Zima, accurately predicting that he would be harassed or detained, handed the film off to Kosa, who sped back to the newspaper's offices. Within a day, the iconic image of the Soweto uprisings had spread around the world. Mwisa Makubu, a teenager wearing overalls, carrying a bleeding 12-year-old Hector Peterson. Today in Soweto, close to where the picture was taken, stands the Hector Peterson Memorial, dominated by a huge reproduction of the famous photograph. Sizakeli Mutakulu was there. She was a 16-year-old student the day of the strike. On June 16, uh, as we were writing our uh, mid-year exam, the, we saw a group of students marching down Villa Gazi Street. You know, chanting, where do they come from? Because this is, this is just not done in South Africa, especially under apartheid. She saw students being shot at, she saw fires, she saw policemen being stoned to death by a mob. What she sees now in Hector Peterson Square is very different. Well over a hundred visitors were gathered wearing South African national team jerseys, blowing bubuzelas, crowding around a four-foot replica of the World Cup trophy that's being wheeled about. The hubbub doesn't phase in Timkula, who sees the events of June 16th, 1976, and the soccer game of June 16th, 2010 as an evolution. We never imagined that World Cup would come to South Africa first of all. We never believed that we would actually be free. Most everyone I spoke with at the memorial took this tack. We honor the past by celebrating the present. But Thomas Kosa dissents. It was the beginning of many people dying, the beginning of many people going into exile, the beginning of many people losing their lives, families breaking asunder. The country has sought to remake the day as National Youth Day, a celebration of possibility, which fits in nicely with the theme of the World Cup. Hector Peterson would have been 46 years old this year. The whereabouts of Moisa Makubu, the boy who carried him, are unknown. His mother testified before the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in 1996 that the last she heard he was in Nigeria.